<coughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for more Dark Souls. I'm sorry about the break, you know the circumstances. We're gonna be getting on with this game now. I finished Dark Souls 3, so if you wonder at all why, you know, I've improved at this game drastically, well, now you know why. It's gonna be quite tough to get back into this, but we're gonna do it. I do have better understanding of this game now and its system purely through playing Dark Souls 3. For a start, I'm kind of fucking myself over with my weight. Oh, it's there. Oh, and it doesn't have a percentage. Oh. The thresholds of this game are something like, I think, uh, below 20, 25% weight. You can roll a lot faster. If you go up to 50, you can still roll fairly fast, but if you go above that, you suddenly become very heavy and do one of these rolls that I'm doing at the moment. I I've made a few promises after finishing Dark Souls 3. First off, I'm not going to use a bow in this game at all, so that can say goodbye. So can the arrows. Don't need those either. And also, I'm not going to use a shield. I didn't really through my Dark Souls 3 playthrough, but I am aware that using a big shield can make the game really easy. The only thing I'm ever going to be using a shield for is parrying. Not blocking, but parrying. So I'm, no I'm never going to block. And there's kind of no point in me having this talisman anymore, because I really don't care much for the guidance, I guess. I'll try and get my weight down a little bit, but it's really hard to tell exactly how much these things weigh, I guess. Right, there we go. You see, we're doing a much faster roll now. Also, of these items, I'm not sure what to get rid of. Let's unequip everything for now. I think I'll figure this out a bit of time. So we need the Estus, of course. Throwing knives. And then finally a homeward bone, I think, maybe. Right. Should be easy enough to browse through. Yeah, I feel a bit bad for leaving this game alone, of course, and definitely for not doing it before Dark Souls 3. There's a lot of things in Dark Souls 3 that I didn't really understand that I feel would I would have had better knowledge of had I have played this game first, of course. That was to be expected, but I didn't realise it would be so much, you know. Anyway, another thing I learnt from Dark Souls 3 was that reading item descriptions is a great idea for learning the lore of the game. I'm not going to do that right now, I'm going to find my feet first. We'll maybe do that in the next part, but we will start reading things properly. That seems like a huge amount of... Yeah, is there any point in me even worrying about that? Like, I think if I'm going to be parrying, do I really need such a heavy shield? I'm actually able to put everything back on as it's he at its heaviest, you know. Parrying in Dark Souls 3 by comparison to this game has been ridiculously hard, no kidding. Like, look at that. Easy. Could use a bit of the old parrying practice, I guess. One thing I should definitely check out is the merchant. Oh yeah, running attacks. I never really figured out how the hell they worked in this, did I? Right, let's see. Um, he... Okay, alright, alright. He sells an orange guidance soapstone. I never really paid attention to that before, but I'm thinking... That's probably how you put down signs, you know, like hints in that. Oh, I could be an absolute asshole to myself and go even lighter than my shield. By that logic, um, maybe I am allowed to block because I think the damage absorption on this will probably be so Thank little that it wouldn't even be worth doing. And also, um, from playing Dark Souls 3, I can now tell that these here are probably explosive barrels. Yeah, there we go. Now I majorly fucked myself over, haven't I? This should do the trick. I'm gonna die horribly. Ow. Let's give it a go, shall we? Ah, here we go. Yeah, right message. Be wary of merch and brilliant. Does that give me the ability to um, rate messages as well, actually? Oh, you have to actually stand over it, press the button to use the orange guidance soapstone, and then do it. That's alright. Bit of an odd system there, but hey ho. Titanite Shard. Very nice. They're quite rare in this game, from what I know. Definitely not in Dark Souls 3, though. Everything spewed them out, pretty much. Alright, so I got all the way up to here with only taking a minimum of damage, and that was just from one enemy, actually, so... Yeah, I'm doing alright so far. I've learnt well. Oh, you can't move while drinking Estus in this game. Okay. See, that was a feature in the, um... in the other game, you see, so... Liar? So, um, do I want to try taking this guy on? Do I, I've, I've barely even started. I'm just like 20 minutes of playing here and yeah, well. 
Ah, right, go on. Let's let's give it a go. We'll see if we can parry him. I don't know how tough he is, though. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, right. Does a lot more damage than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Oh, crap. Yeah. God, it is painfully hard to, um... Bait out attacks. I think the whole issue with this is actually... The movement is a lot less flexible in this game. So if I can run past all these... Might not be a bad idea, to be honest. Oh, God. Maybe running past them isn't such a good idea after all. Dark Souls 3? The enemies seem to, like, reset their positions, go back to where they came from. But in this game, holy hell, they do not want to do that, do they? Maybe better trying not to parry him, but to fight him properly like this, you know. Yeah, this seems to be doing the trick for the most part, but... Oh, shit. Until that happens, I guess. Right. No. Jesus Christ. I thought I baited out an attack there and had time to heal, but obviously not. Maybe make more distance between myself and him and try that again. Right, there we go. I think that's the attack I want to bait out, really. Yes, it definitely is. Like, he takes way too long resetting his animation away from that. Oh, fuck. That wasn't good. That one's quite a lengthy attack as well. Oh, Jesus. Can't say I was expecting that. Oh, shit. Oh. He didn't touch me there. He definitely did not touch me there. I'm busy. How on earth do backstabs work in this, then? Because I can't seem to get one on this guy at all. Never seems to work. Oh shit, thought I got the parry there, obviously not. Come on. Oh shit! The range he has. You need to be careful of that, really. Come on, drink. That's good. Oh yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's good. That's good. That's great. But now my camera won't lock back onto him for some reason. There we go. And I think that's him dealt with. Oh, Jesus Christ. That actually scared me. Oh, that's it? It's just a dead end? Blue Tearstone Ring. Now, I know what that does from the, um, from the third game. Yes, boost defense while well, well, HP is low. So, obviously that's beneficial when health is dropping a lot and, you know. A rare gem called Tearstone has the uncanny ability to sense imminent death. This blue Tearstone from Katarina boosts the defense of its wearer when in danger. There is absolutely no harm in me putting that on, I guess. Does it weigh anything? I didn't think about that because, um... No. Okay, so... Wait for rings is a feature in Dark Souls 3 exclusively. Should I go up here or should I go try and go down? I can't remember what the hell was down in the first place. Maybe I should go up here first. Probably a good idea. Of course, there was the big dragon. What? Use the basement key. Oh, okay. That must have been something that I did before and just didn't realize. So where does this lead? Looks like it's leading onto a new area. We won't go here just yet. Like I said, want to retrace my steps, etc. Uh, what was down here? Wasn't there another knight? There was, yeah, right. Okay, let's go get him now. I think maybe I can sneak up on this guy. Oh, I don't seem to be getting a lock on on him. Oh! Ah! Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, a ah. parent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Praise the sun. Yes. Can, can we possibly, like, talk oh, to him again, please? Uh -huh. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. 
Uh, okay. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Sure. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Ah, white soapstone, right, yeah, okay. Strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. <laughs> of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> uh, a bit more intimidating than I was expecting him to be. Yes, I vaguely know who Solari is from, um, well, just, just from all the memes and stuff that have floated around about this game. You know, praise the sun and all this. Um, yeah. It's a little bit hard to avoid knowing who Slayer is, I suppose. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. He does seem to have a bit of a crush on the sun, I'll give him that much. <sighs> Do I want to try and make a run for where the dragon is? It might be worth it. First things first, we've got to kill all these enemies in the way. Oh, shit. Ow. Well, apparently that's going to hurt me whether I like it or not. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, probably a good idea to heal. Quickly. God, this thing is a bastard. Uh, how am I supposed to get down there without it doing that? That's crazy. I have to move fast, aren't I? I'm probably best healing again. But I don't think I can get past the dragon just yet. If at all. I can get to here, can't I? We know that already. Right, here he goes. Okay, he stops. Oh shit, no he hasn't. What the hell? It's pretty hard to tell, isn't it? Right, let's try healing again. If I can bait him into breathing again. Oh shit, here he goes. Right. Make sure the fire's gone. No, that didn't work. Right, let's try running now. I don't think this is going to work at all, is it? Nope. Shit. I'm okay. Somehow. Can I keep moving? Quickly. Shit, 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 shit. There's a bonfire. Right. Surprised we actually made that. It works. It actually works. Alright, so, made progress that I never made before. Immediately. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Now, um... In order to get the five Estus, I need to reverse my hollowing, don't I? We have a few of those. Um, hollow reverser things. I don't even know what they're called. Humanity, that's it. So, it'd be a good idea to maybe use one of those so that we can do that. And try and stay alive. Uh, thinking of which... Maybe I could try dealing with the dragon. Is it possible to kill it? Where's it gone? Is the dragon actually gone? I'm so confused. Where the fuck has the dragon gone now? I don't think it would actually fuck off after doing that. I thought maybe it would stick around, but no, apparently not. Right, so we got some souls here. What else we got? Claymore? Anything else at all? Probably not. And deal with these guys. It's not really like they're doing anything at the moment. It might be a good idea to reverse my hollowing once I know that I'm not gonna die immediately after, you know, doing it in the first place. Let's pull this lever. I wonder if this is a back step to somewhere that we've been before. Probably not, but still. Actually, yes, this is a shortcut. 
And sure, this is indeed. It means we don't have to go through all those convoluted tunnels and stuff to get here. Now, what's out this way? I vaguely remember this. There's these guys. What, what's wrong with them? I don't trust these anymore after playing Dark Souls 3, so they're gonna die. And they're gonna do so horribly. It's because, um... They would just sit around casually, you know, acting like they're never going to do anything wrong in the third game, and then sometimes certain enemies would call them all to attack you. And, oh, this looks familiar. Oh, you see, in the third game, this was, um, this was a shrine to, um, to the Praise the Sun people. Uh, you know, the Golden Warriors, I don't know what they're called. But we can't seem to be able to, like, pray to it or anything here. Okay, so there's nothing else here by the looks of it. Just a little shortcut that we can open. Oh, no, never mind. A broken straight sword. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was from an enemy that we killed. Yeah, that wasn't actually... Oh, right, all right. oh this is not going well. Yeah, this is going to be hard without a bow. Uh, he's not going to want to move unless I put down one of those skull things, I guess. I might be a bit far away, actually, but oh well. No, he's not even bothered to run to it. What an asshole. Oh shit, Jesus Christ, he turned fast, didn't he? What a dickhead. Right, that barely did any damage to him, and now I'm worried. I'll be alright, but, um, this might be a bit on the tough side, really. 53 damage. Alright, this is working out, kind of, I guess. Oh, fucking hell. Kind of. Oh, god. Ah. Uh, kind of might need to get away from him. Oh, shit, it's charging. Alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. For now. Oh, shit, there's a fire. Somehow still okay. Fuck it, let's just kill him. There we go. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes all my Estus, I guess, but still. We're okay for now. Like, the next little root kind of area. It's not a big deal overall. Um... I was expecting him to drop something. I'm surprised he didn't drop anything at all, but oh well. Is there anything else here worth doing that for at all? I don't think there is, is there? There's a door here we can't really get through. Oh well. On second thoughts, it's probably best going back to the previous bonfire, isn't it? How many points is it to level up? 4,000 and something, right. What have I put points into so far? I hope I haven't put any points into intelligence, faith, or attunement. That would just make me a bit sad, really. Endurance covers both stamina and equip load. Right. I'll put a point into vitality and put a point into endurance. Let's do that. So I don't want to torture myself too much with low health and all that. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to Kindle now. Kindle? No. Wrong game. We've got to reverse the hollowing at the bonfire after getting one humanity. Yeah. So there we go. Humanity restored. And then... And then we Kindle the fire. What? I, I have humanity though. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, yeah, of course. We need an extra hu... Ugh. This is so much work. Right, okay, there we go. Now we have the 10. Oh, it's not come back. It actually hasn't come back. I'm surprised. Oh. Never got that over there. Let's do that. I guess we've just got to balance along these things and go over here. There we go. Uh, another large soul. Great. Titanite shot again. One thing we can do here is we can now open this gate. That provides us with a bit of a shortcut. Because we can run from that bonfire straight through here. I'm surprised I haven't seen any summon signs or anything yet. I heard there was some sort of Dark Souls reboot or something, and um, yeah. Lever ahead. I don't see one. I never made a point of this, but I believe this is exactly the same blacksmith as in the third game. He's one of the only reoccurring characters in the third game. 
and it also implies that he's been alive for many, many years. It might be a good idea to buy the armor smith box as well, so that we don't have to travel here in order to buy things, you know. What, wait, wait a moment, what was that? Crest of Artorius. Crest open sealed door. Oh, right, okay, right. So that was what we needed to get through that door. We need 20,000 souls for that, that's a loss. A lot of souls. Jeez. I wasn't expecting this thing to have so much dexterity about it, really. It seems quite quick. Oh, here it goes. Uh, I need a kind of open area, I guess. So I need to be careful of all this shit that's going on here. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that? Like... Seems to be kind of hard to actually hit this thing for some reason. What's that? It's got some kind of weird thing inscribed on its face. This is a good chance to get a blow in or two, apparently. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay, let's heal. Might want to be careful of this attack as well. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm alright, I'm alright. Just need to get a bit of distance again. Right, let's try get that again. Jesus. Alright, dodging isn't quite as accurate as it is in the third game. Definitely isn't. And there we go. There's my humanity gone already. And behind you. What is it doing? It just jumped away. Now it's jumping back. Right. L let's give it another go. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. What? How does that make any sense? Alright. Let's try and make some room again and heal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get quite far back in order to actually avoid some of the shit it does, I think. Right, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Is that alright to get in there again? Probably not, right? Alright. I think I might heal again because I'm only dealing with this enemy at the moment. You know, I think I have the chance. Okay, let's get in there and whack it a couple more times. Is that alright? No, shit. Can we get away, please? Oh my god, that is a lot of damage it does. Oh, crap. I'm okay, kind of, vaguely. Let's heal. What? What? I dodged that, though. By Dark Souls 3 logic, I did dodge that, I'm pretty certain, but oh well. Dark Souls 3 logic no longer applies, really. It's pretty slow with its attacks, I'm pretty sure I could just move around it in a circle sometimes and, you know, do some good damage to it. It kind of accidentally pushes me around occasionally as well, and pushes me out of the way of its attacks. Let's see if we can go in there again. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, but I am getting caught on the scenery a lot, which is not good. Let's heal again. Alright, five esters, took it halfway down. Might be able to do this. Pretty sure I can. Alright. It's kind of hard getting around it, like I said, because of the scenery. This is working. Vaguely. Just one more hit and it's down. Nice. 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 You see, I can do this. I can do this. Demon Tice Nice. I'm assuming that's something that um, allows for higher levels on weapons and stuff like that. Anyway, we're not going to go this way just yet. We can maybe use some of this, but um, to sink some Tice Nice into some of our equipment. Upgrade the leather gauntlets a bit and then upgrade maybe the leather boots. Yeah, let's go for it. Right, next thing. Let's deal with that bastard that was upstairs here. Right. We just kind of get around him, don't we? He's got a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Holy hell. It might be a good idea to get out of here. Just doing a little dance. Holy shit, that is a lot of them. Fucking hell, they suddenly do a lot of damage as well. Might be a good idea to heal. Fuck, they're coming, they're coming. I hope he's not. God damn, how many... Oh god. Be careful, be careful. Shit. God, what what has he done to these guys? It's like he's fed them steroids or something. There we go, right. I think that's all of them dead, or at least I hope it is. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea charging into that room. Alright. So let's try taking him out now. Where is he? He's just around the corner. What is he doing? He's just standing there on the air. 
Well, I think he's dead. I got 1,000 for that as well. Crikey. Uh, something's moving. I have a feeling it's the enemies downstairs and they've kind of caught wind of the fact that I'm up here. And are getting very confused at the moment. So we got a route up this way, which has this guy in the way here. It's not really a problem. Probably should have done a better job of actually trying to avoid that, but I failed miserably. And maybe we can smash through this? Yes, we can. Wonder where that leads. Uh, what is going on over here? There's a body trapped inside here. Oh, okay, we can pillage that. Oh, it has a humanity on it. Great. We probably need more of that after, you know, a little incident earlier. So, we can, um, we can head up here. Where does that go? There was another route back there, you see, so I'm um, a little bit hesitant. Oh. Oh. Still human, are you? Then no, that armor I looks familiar. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Oh. Okay, just use my mystery key, apparently. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly Lautrec. appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. You can just strip off and give me your armor. That might work. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just I don't trust this guy already. Allow me some time. Hmm. Alright. I guess I don't really have much choice, do I? Oh god, what? I am free. Now, I can get back to work. <laughs> Why can I not trust anyone in this game? Like, my god. Everyone just has the most sinister laugh I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> 